the savior of Webwood is here. And it's me. You're welcome, now I'm leaving. I hate this town. I hate spiders, actually, and there's spiders all around this town, so by default, I hate this town. Uh, okay, guys, welcome back. My force, my curse, my force, my curse has been lifted. I took care of that, and I also sold all my junk. Uh, no new items for me to wear quite yet, although the pieces of gear that we're getting are getting pretty close to replacing this gear that we started the game out with, so I'm happy about that. Uh, looking forward to A, some improvements, and B, just a visual overhaul. So let's quite literally head out of the darkness and into the light. And no, I'm not just being cheesy, that's actually the name of the next quest. So let's go into the light. Hmm. Find out more about our feet weaver self. Whoa, Ayo, hey spiders. I'm leaving this town for the because of your existence. So, way to go. Way to ruin it for everyone else by being all nasty and... Having tons of legs. Nobody likes you. Some people like you. You know who doesn't like you at all, though? Um, any sort of bugs that you eat. Or other spiders, because you eat other spiders. Do you know that female spiders, after mating, consume the male? How could you like anything like that? Like, how could people be okay with spiders knowing that? That's disgusting. That's, what the heck is wrong with you? Guy's just trying to propagate the species and you consume him. All right, we gotta we gotta finish off one of these guys before our fate stuff runs out. It's gonna be space bar this time. I mean, like I'm glad they mix it up, but all it ends up resulting in me doing. I read someone mention this in a video. I saw I, I saw I read someone mentioning this. I saw someone mention this in a video. They said it's either ever gonna be space bar or mouse one or two. So you just spam all three of them at the same time, and then whatever one it comes out to be, you focus on that. So at least you get that head start. And that was perfect. It made perfect sense. <laughs> Look at these. They're like Bogart Scarecrows. Bogart? Bogart or Bogart? How do you pronounce that one? Hmm? Let me know. Let me know what I'm supposed to be doing. And here we are in Entenmeer. The lovely town of Entenmeer. I do, the environments in this game look so cool. I'm liking the little, little fall foliage looking trees there with their red leaves and fishies. Let's see what's in here. Anything good? Whoa. Oh man, hand wraps though. That's gonna be something, ugh, yuck. That's almost positive that that is going to be something for like a, a, a mage type character. And I'm a heavy, heavy armor sort of dude. Nothing there. These fishing holes though. Man, those are the craziest looking fish I've ever seen. <laughs> a pair of gloves, a pair of epic gloves. That's a, that's a cool fish. Look at that thing over there by the fire, that's weird. All right, so we're just heading uh, straight in this direction. We're supposed to meet up with a fate weaver. He's gonna tell us about our fate. We got another, another fishing spot over here. Epic gear. No. Scarwood bark, actually, is what it is. A little ravine over here. Is that a chest? Yeah, it is. Let's go get that real quick. See what is inside. Oh, man, what the heck is going on over here? There's like three trolls. Is that my friend? Oh, jeez, I'll be right there. I'm coming. I just got to pick this stuff up. Oh god. Oh, if I could jump off the ledge right now, I totally would. Probably one of the most frustrating things about this game is the inability for you to leap off of ledges. There's a chest over there. Make a mental note. I gotta save this guy. I can't. Can I not get up over here? I gotta go all the way around. Is there a spot over here? Oh, I'm coming. Hold on. Oh, dear lord. Talk about being late to the party. This guy's got people all over him. What am I doing? Swimming in the river. It's good, it's good exercise, and I'm sure he understands that, but I'm also sure that he'd like my help. All right, let's, let's go in with the earthquake first. Does it even stagger? These things don't get staggered. What the heck are these? They're Ettens. Etten brute? What the heck? Good lord. Not being able to listen. Oh, that was not a block. Not being able to stagger these guys is gonna suck. Let's go put the damage from this, at least. And then, 
over the top. There we go. Now let's spin to win this guy. Is he pretty low? I don't know. He's gonna be in a second. Here it is. Full charge. Full charge spin to win. Hey, dude. It's good you're here. I, I was beginning to think you were just something I saw in the bottle. Welcome to the ruins of Delok. What is this place? Yes. It doesn't look like much, but in these ruins lies the theater of fate. The ancient home of the fate weavers. Come with me. No telling what we'll find down there. All right, sounds good. In we go. Do we why are we even here? This is okay, this is the place of the fate weavers, he said. I had don't worry, I didn't forget about that chest that's down there. I just um Oh, doggy. Hey you. Probably gonna get that on the way out. After we figure out what the heck's in this uh, temple or whatever it is. And ooh, a chest. Ugh, it's always garbage in these things. <laughs> I'm always so disappointed when I open chest. And then I jump in a I jump in a pond and I, I fish up a pair of epic Ever gloves. Since this place was abandoned, strange beasts have moved in. Stay close. No, you this stay place close. has been abandoned for so long that some fate weavers think it's just a legend. You stay close. You're telling me to stay close. I'm the protector here. You're just my lackey NPC follower. Your future is running out. Yep, it's actually his future is done. His future is now. <laughs> his end is now. Hey! Oh! I hate you, wolves. Here's a good one, ready? Yeah, come on. I hate how these ends, though, don't, don't get stunned at all. Except for the block, that, that's the slow-mo block seemed to knock him back. Ah, new! You missed it. Oh no, that was a perfectly timed block. That should definitely have just like that slow mode it up. Too late to escape. Yes. Ah. He just said it's time for a drink. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Whatever, dude. <laughs> I think you really need to ease up with the uh, alcoholic tendencies there. <laughs> oh man. Like, we're in the middle of a dungeon. He's like, I got a drink. Maybe he's one of those. What are those those the drunken monkey fighting style or whatever? I know I know you don't actually you're not supposed to like literally be drunk. Are these guys blind? I'm standing right here. What took you so long? Am I blind? I missed everything with that attack. I gotta hit all of these guys. The good thing about the wolves though is there's only one of them that's actually full on charging at a time. However, you really gotta keep at it. It's always the guy. He's gonna he's gonna bark at you first, and then he's gonna charge. I timed that block. Oh no! Whoa! 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 Doggies! Chill! Chill out! Chill out and take some spikes to the face. Eh? Oh, I hate you. I mean, I love I love the AI fighting like as a coordinated effort, but I hate them at the same time. Sucker. Ready for this? You ready for this? <laughs> All right, so I guess this guy just drinks after every fight. That's cool. Now I get it. it at least there's a, a method to the madness, right? We kill a bunch of guys. It's time for a drink. <laughs> we get up in the morning. It's time for a drink. Every time Force mispronounces a word, it's time for a drink. That's you're drunk. <laughs> you're, you are perpetually drunk if that's the case. 
Uh, it's too funny. Okay, let's see. Very easy to spelling. Alright, I'll try- last time I tried to spelling something, I got cursed and it really sucked. Ugh, great, at least there was nothing in there. whoop de doo Yeah, I got- you remember that curse that I got? Sucked all my mana dry? I guess I don't use the spells that much, but... At least the having the option show us nice. the whole tapestry of fate laid bare. We can do nothing to change it or prevent its horrors. Well, most of us can. I can. Wow. Oh, it's a bunch of... What are these? Oh, the kobolds. I remember these things. This is from, like, the first episode. And I haven't seen these guys in a while. Kobolds, welcome back to the game. Here's your... Here's your, your welcoming party is a flaming sword to the face. Is that okay? You guys mind that or? Oh, you do? That's not fun. You would prefer tea and crumpets. Well, I don't have tea. Actually, I do have tea, but I don't have crumpets. So... Do you like green tea? Green tea is better for you. It's healthier. Uh, not not quite as much of a caffeine boost from it though, if I recall correctly. Green tea. So the I think no I think it's it goes like there's like white tea, green tea, and black tea. I'm sure the, you know there are varying levels in between, but I think white tea is supposed to be like the young tea leaves, like the venison of tea, <laughs> and then um, and then it goes for maturity, and then the caffeine caffeine increase is part of the. The darkening process, I suppose, is how that's supposed to work. Okay, let's, uh, this is a good time for reckoning mode, I think. There is a ton of dudes here. So we just got three and one, that's pretty good. And then we're gonna hopefully take out the rest of these guys before my reckoning diminishes. Yeah, we totally got this. That's all of them. All right, we're all done. Let's get some bonus XP, yeah? Space bar. 100% bonus XP, we killed every single one of them. That almost levels us up. That almost levels us up to seven. Someone in the last video said something really stupid. I'm not saying the person is stupid, but what they said was stupid. They said, Oh, how are you only level six? And I've been playing for a day and I'm level 20. Well, the reason is, <laughs> the only time I'm playing this game is when. I'm doing the let's plays, so I think I put it like three hours into After it so all far. Those years of hiding in a bottle, it's good to see some action again. Not a lot of time. You know what I, I wanted to say to him? Last time. I wanted to say, you want to know how I'm level six? Watch the let's play. That's 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 been my play experience progress up to this point. I don't know what to tell you. What a dope! But the internet is filled with dopes, and if you let every dope upset you, then you're always going to be upset, and that is not a way to live, my friends. No way to live. Shakarims to the face. Is it time for a drink? Ah, you're letting me down. We finished a fight and you're not telling me it's time for a drink. What is that dagger doing? What is this floating dagger of doom? <laughs> this is that, that is a that is a safety hazard, man. If we got OSHA coming in here to evaluate the workplace, they would say, you can't have that floating knife there. Someone could walk by and slit their throat. That's horrendous. You can't do that. You're in trouble. Although I'm not sure if OSHA was just supposed to be like bacterial stuff. So I remember I used to work at Shaw's and I, I think I pretty much worked in every department except for the front end. I worked in produce, I worked in grocery, I worked in the bakery, believe it or not. Baking some cookies, it was fun. Um, it's funny because I was the o not only was I the only man in the bakery, but I was the only only person under the age of like 40. It was kind of funny. <laughs> like the bakery that I worked, it was literally just like older women baking cookies. It was. <laughs> I'm not trying to be rude or like oh stereotypes, rah rah. It was, that, I'm just making an observation as to, to what happened when I worked in the bakery. Anyways, what I was trying to say was. Uh, so I worked primarily in produce for the four years that I worked at Shaw's. This was like a high school job into freshman year of college before I started doing bartending. And even when I was working at Shaw's, I also did serving jobs, which is why I got into bartending. 
because I used to I used to be a busboy at the Olive Garden and I've worked at several different restaurants uh, just as a server and then I eventually became a bartender. But anyways, OSHA or any sort of uh, company that comes in and checks for like health regulations. That's kind of why I brought that stuff up. I'm pretty sure they, yeah, I'm pretty sure they just wanted to make sure you weren't being dirty and stuff. And like, you know, there weren't knives hanging around and you had safety gloves so you didn't cut your fingers off. I, I could talk about my years of work forever, but I don't want to do that. Because now my work is this. <laughs> <laughs> this is so much cooler. So let's just do this. Let's smash up people in the face. I hope OSHA doesn't come in and say, uh, excuse me, that is improper usage of a longsword. You should be, first of all, wearing a safety glove, and you should not be swinging it in the faces of living things. And then I'd say, no, that's actually exactly what you're supposed to do with a longsword. That's why longswords exist. Longswords wouldn't exist if there weren't things to smash with. <laughs> you know, the presence of long swords is only because there are things to cut with it. So there you have it. You don't need a long sword to cut your deli meat. So clearly, something else is going on here when they made that thing. Unless you just really wanted to get this is really bad. I don't know if I want. Unless you just really wanted to just get straight to the point and cut the cow in half. <laughs> That's so horrible. I can totally understand why people are vegan cuz I love animals, and the fact that we slaughter so many of them for our food. Don't get me wrong, I'm a full... I love red meat and chicken and fish. Like, I love consuming things. Hey, these guys are fighting! I'm down with this. Dude, chill out, chill out. Come, come out. Come over here with me, chill out. We don't need to, we don't need to get in between the, the kobold and the and rivalry. That's a war that we do not need to fight. Let's not play U.S. politics here. I don't want to stick my nose in everyone else's business. If these guys want to duke it out, let them duke it out. I'll chill out over here until someone... Oh, see? He... You see what I mean? This is why we need... This is why we need... To not police the world, because... If you just let them go at it, then we're, we're fine over here. Although, is one of them evil and the other one's good? Okay, well, in that case, let's join. <laughs> and I don't... I don't want to be, uh... Partial, so we're just gonna take out all of them. And don't, don't pick a side when you can destroy everything. You know what I mean? I think the kobolds are winning this fight, though, so we're gonna we're gonna even up the odds a little bit. That's the plan. Force, did you just give us your political view? No, sometimes I just say things, or maybe I did. Who knows? Do you know? I don't know. Well, I do know, but you don't know. You'll never know. Maybe you do know. Maybe by watching my videos you think you know everything about me. And that's cool, you can think that. Is it true? Who knows? Do I know? Yeah, I know. Do you know? No, not really. Oh boy, knowing and not knowing. That's what life's all about. You know what I do know, though? That there's a chest right here. And I will open it. Oh. Glorious, glorious day. Where did he go? Wait, are you still up there? Okay. I'm coming. Calm down, I'm coming. Got him. Thank you. Okay, wonderful. Uh, what was I saying? I lost my train of thought. Talked about politics and letting those two sides fight. And then there was a chest. Did I already open it? Yes, I did. I leveled up, but that can wait. Nah, I can't wait. Yeah, let's just take care of that now. This will, this will be really quick. Uh, so we're going to go into Stagecraft. Congratulations. And then we will spend points into this thing. Let's cap that out. What is this? Mastery over the blunt grants you increased... Blunt trauma grants you increased damage versus stunned enemies. Okay. Um, I don't necessarily know that I need that. What is this? Aftershock. The final hit of your quake attack causes lasting tremors. Ooh. Yeah, totally. Totally. Let's spend some points into that. Grants a short-term resistance to interruption at the expense of armor, allowing you to shrug. Oh. Wait a second. Short-term resistance to interruption at the expense of armor, allowing you to shrug off blows while, while taking slightly more damage. Okay, so this makes it so that I basically can't get stunned during an attack. Well, that's kind of cool. Maybe I'll get one point out of that. And then we still have our tier 3 fighter, so we just accept that. Alright. 
Nice. So this is, you can't get interrupted. You, I lose armor. How long does it last though? Oh, it's pretty short term. It is quite literally as, the, as they stated, it's a short term thing. Uh, but that's nice, that's nice to have. I don't know, well, I understand the use case. I don't know if I'm always gonna use it, but. We're almost there. It's good to have. Or at least as far as I can take you. What I wish would happen is I wish hitting the number key twice, for example, would activate the ability. I don't like the hitting the number key and then having to... I've seen this. Right click. This moment. I'm sorry, my friend. This is as far as I can take you. What? What? Are you retreating? There's a giant... Ah! Oh, you ha you're not retreating, okay. I'm gonna do this thing. I wanna see that lasting tremor thing. Ouch. Where is it? Oh, there it is, there's stuff on the ground. Okay. This war priest is kind of a pain in the butt. I'm gonna do the overhead smash here. Oh, snap. And then we're gonna do some of this. Nice. Nice! Finish him off. That's kind of weird that I have the finish ability for this guy. I didn't even... He must have been like a mini-boss. Must have been like a mini-boss or something. Hmm? I'm... I'm still alive. He was supposed to... <laughs> Do you have any idea what you've done? What sort of power you're playing with? Yeah, I changed fate. You absorbed everything he was, everything he would do. You changed the weave of destiny itself. Because of you, there are deeds he won't do. Children of his that won't be born. Victims that won't die when they were supposed to. He tried to kill us. I had to... I had to kill him. Be grateful, if anything, Agarth, okay? Yes, I'm aware. But there's still no telling what damage you could do if you aren't careful. You're much more dangerous than I thought. We need to get you to the Theater of Fate right away. See, this is stupid, because every action, like, results in a similar thing that he's talking about. Like, there's always... Every time something happens, things are... The butterfly effect. B butterfly. <laughs> The butterfly effect is what I just called it. The butterfly effect, right? Is that not what it is? Y anytime something is affected, that changes the course of history. A butterfly flaps its wings and and what a tornado starts or whatever the hell people think happens. Where am I? Where am I supposed to be going? The heck? Okay, I need to... I, let me check up here because I don't think that I've been up here. Oh wait, I came from there? I'll check these little side rooms before we do anything else. Might be something fancy in here. Just a chest. Is there anything good in it? Ooh! Looks like we might get some gear from that. Let's go check the other one. I am actually incredibly surprised that there was nothing to kill me inside of this room. Maybe once I open the second chest here. There we go. Two of them, actually. That one's got garbage in it. Let's see, average? All right, let's try not to get cursed. Oh no. Ah. Oh. Yes! Yes, sir! Hardened Greaves, thank you very much. Okay. All right, so, I ch yeah, but that's, I mean, it's its silly. I guess the only thing is that he's supposed to know what happens to everything, and that's ridiculous, because that doesn't... Was I supposed to get Lyme disease? <laughs> Was I supposed to be bitten by a tick and get Lyme disease? Because if so, I hate... So someone's out Someone hates me. If you guys are wondering how that's all going, um, I, I guess fine. I don't... It's like... The interesting thing about... Like, Lyme disease can be really serious. But, from what I understand, it's only really serious if you don't catch it early, and you don't treat it. It is a bacteria. It can be eliminated with an antibiotic, which is what I was put on. 
And so I, I'm. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I was waiting for my fate stuff to get up here, but apparently that's not gonna happen before this fight progresses too far. So yeah, I already killed one guy. I'm not gonna bother using it yet. Let me save it for another time. Um, but anyways, what I was saying was that I caught I caught it in its very first stage, which means I was able to get antibiotics right away, which means that it's supposed to take care of the bacteria. Uh, the antibiotics basically get in your system and stop the bacteria from being able to... I guess, I don't know, propagate, or if you will, but just being able to sustain itself, which is what it needs to do. It needs to essentially continue to feed in order to, in order to be a nuisance. But what will happen is people will get Lyme disease and they won't catch it. And then that's when problems occur because a few years down the road... The theater of fate. I never thought I'd see it. A few years down the road, you can get all sorts of, like, neurological problems and stuff like that. But anyways, that's enough talking about Lyme disease. Uh, here we are in the theater of, theater of fate. And when we return, we will watch a movie about fate. Right? Exactly. <laughs>